Hello, and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video provided by Solid Experts. My name is Michael Habrish, and today we're going to be continuing with X-Design on the 3D Experience platform. In the previous video, we used design guidance to create a new component. This time, I'm going to use the same function with the redesign option, which allows me to take an existing body, apply restraints, add loads, and refine the design. So without wasting any more time, let's move over to X-Design. We'll open and redesign one of the components in this assembly. To start, I'll right-click and open one of the bracket components from the Design Manager. We'll need to add restraints and loads, just like a new design. For the restraint, I'll use a clamp on the bottom face. The loading is a point load to the side. For this load, we'll use the average weight of an adult human, 600 newtons, and confirm the direction. Next, I'll click Redesign. We'll start with a coarse granularity and the mass reduction at about 70%, and select the body required for redesigns. I want to keep the base the same, but change the main body. I'll click Volume, Preserve Regions, and select all of the bottom faces, the contact, and cylindrical faces on the upper end. Next, I'll click Generate. We can see that the mass reduction takes place at the center of the support, near the junction of the vertical boss and the base plate. I'll click OK and save the results. Let's add another load, an upwards point load, similar to the one used in the previous model, of the same amount, 1350 newtons. We could add many more loads, but we need a way to combine the loads. This is where the Load Case Manager is used. I'll click the Design Guidance Action Bar and the Load Case Manager. For Load Case 1, I'll use just Point Force 1 or the 600 Newton load. Next, I'll add Load Case, and for this Load Case, select only the 1350 Newton load. After I click OK, we'll see that the Load Cases are also listed in the Design Guidance folder. The Design Guidance knows that there's been a change and the icon has a warning. Then we'll click the Design Guidance Study to edit it. This time, we'll keep the mass reduction at 70% and select Load Case 1. Again, I'll click Generate. Note that any combination of load cases can be used, including all load cases simultaneously. We'll generate the model for Load Case 2 as well to get an idea of what it looks like. Assuming that the side load could be applied in either direction, we can ignore the results from Load Case 2 and design the opening in the center using the thicker legs symmetrically, similar to Load Case 1. Click OK again to save the results. The upward load was conservative. The actual values are lower, about 775 newtons. Let's edit the force, point force 2, and change it to a custom value of 800 newtons, and click OK. The load cases are updated automatically. We can run this again with the updated load case 3. If we click Inspect Details and use the Slice and Region options, we can see that this component has been hollowed out in places. We'll keep the boss section solid and maintain a stronger model. I'll click OK and Save. Next, I'll hide the main body, Imported Body 1, while working on creating some sections. I'll click Create Profiles and select Rectangles. The sections pass through the center of the model, but we're interested in the leg area. We can manipulate the inspection volume by moving the center, rotating it, and resizing it. After clicking Add Profiles and OK, I can measure some of the edges to determine an offset distance. I'll use around 11 millimeters. Before editing the imported body, I'll hide all of the extra geometry. i 
I'll use Convert to Direct Edit with Recognize Fillets and Roll Back before the last fillet. Here, I'll create a new sketch, add a cut, and then complete the model. And we've done it again. We successfully used the design guidance function this time to redesign our existing bracket. I hope you gained some useful information and as always, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.